Here at Simply Garden, with over 50 years of gardening experience, I believe in keeping things simple and productive while gardening in your own backyard. Well, good afternoon. We have some uh, things to do from the garden today, and that's basically uh, fertilized tomatoes, which I'm pretty excited to do because they're growing, they're starting to take off. Uh, I'm in southern New Hampshire, zone 5, and believe it or not, it's going to get down to 50 degrees tonight, and it's like around uh, June, uh, I think it's June 11th, and, um, but hey, we're having a cooler spring, um, but things just start coming along, I'm seeing some nice growth in tomatoes, so we're going to go and give it some fertilizer, it's designed specifically for tomatoes, this is by T uh, Gardens Alive, it's called Tomatoes Alive, uh, 622 All Natural Plant Food, 6 parts nitrogen, 2 parts uh, fat, potash, I mean phosphate, sorry, and then 2% uh, potash. It's also calcium, magnesium in here, and uh, I used this last couple of years and it makes a big difference in the tomatoes growing. So as all you're talking about, it's not much. It's only two tablespoons of sprinkle around per plant. Uh, two tablespoons is probably about, about that much. And uh, just sprinkle around here. Just the idea, I opened up these guys here, the wall waters. We already got tomatoes coming up on them. Um, a little bird poop there. <laughs> Um, right there, tomatoes coming down there. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just, like I say, two tablespoons around each plant, just kind of in a circle. As you see, I also interplanted some lettuce. Um, they're doing great. I transplanted from their part of the garden. I had started some seeds a while, a couple, like a month ago or so, and I got some more to transplant pretty soon, which I'll probably put in between the plants, like you see right here. Because what basically the lettuce is the lettuce grows, tomatoes grow, and then lettuce gets done. And it um, doesn't hurt the tomatoes any. doesn't shade them out much. Tomato, lettuce doesn't mind a little shading anyways. And then it comes time to uh, pick the uh, lettuce. Tomatoes take over and space is freed up for the growing tomatoes. This bed here is basically about 6 feet wide by about 14 feet long. Um, also have in here carrots growing. I planted these a couple weeks ago, a couple actually a week ago. You can already see the carrots coming up here, starting to break through along here, and um, it's good to see that. So we'll let that uh, do its thing here, and um, the, putting the uh, burlap around it really helps the carrots grow better. Gets a good germination. There we go. Oh, got a little guy here. I don't know what happened here, but that's all right. He'll catch up. Tomatoes are a uh, supersonic. I purchased those from um, Harris uh, Seed Company, um, which I think is now called something Garden. Um, I'll look it up, post who the company is. They changed names from Harris to... Um, something garden. Um, and then also I, um, the other tomatoes are uh, aroma tomato. My daughter grew for me. I, don't, I do not know what the name of it is, but um, it's a great sauce. Just a new variety she's trying for, uh, for sauce. So I'll have to get those names in our time. When it gets, as the tomatoes get bigger, I'll have to make sure I grab the names of those aromas. Okay, that's about all we need there. See, it doesn't take much. And I'll do this every couple of weeks throughout the season. And just lightly uh, cultivate. You don't want to go too deep to break up the roots. Um, I will tell you in there, one of my other videos I told you about a trick is basically to help move the tomatoes along a little quicker. I'll probably do this in about a week. I'm going to take and cut the edge of the root system here. I make the tomatoes think that they're in trouble and it'll force them into um, ripening up quicker. So sacrifice a little growth of the plant to get some tomatoes a little sooner. No idea where I learned that trick, but I've done that many times. It works pretty good. I want to hit the lettuce. Be careful about that. <laughs> yes, I ripped off a few plants and to plant them. You got to be careful not to rip the plants out. That you're trying to interplant with. 
And these little hunks of dead grass and whatnot will break up in time and be gone before the uh, end of the season. Tall grass here is a uh, left over winter right grass, which actually going to, to seed head. Um, I don't pick it all back, I don't rip it all out. Sometimes I just leave it for the birds, they enjoy eating it later on as it ripens. You can eat it yourself if you want to. I'm not, not up there to make rye bread, but uh, they're pretty tasty when you break them open when they, when they get dried. I have some flowers growing in here, uh, Cosmos, I have those in there, and um, I also started by putting uh, putting um, burlap on top of that, and in a couple days those up. So there we go. Gardens Alive, tomato fertilizer, and uh, probably the end of the week I'll give them a nice, another nice drink of uh, fish emulsion in between the, uh, the uh, granular, and uh, this keeps it coming along nicely. So we'll uh, check back on these. I have another bed of tomatoes over here to do pretty soon. These are all Roma tomatoes, and um, I'm going to give these a good watering first, and I'll go ahead and, um, it's been very dry lately, there haven't much rain at all. We've had a half inch in about two weeks. Um, so I'll probably get to fertilizing these pretty soon here too. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you for subscribing. If you aren't already a, a viewer, a regular subscriber. And uh, we'll be back with more. Um, which includes probably picking peas pretty soon. They're looking, looking good. Excited about that. Have a great night.